Leader funding has helped GrowBiz provide critical enterprise support to rural businesses across Perth and Kinross. Our Making Rural Business Digital project has come just at the right time to really help businesses upskill and move their products and services online. The funding's helped us to also deliver smart villages throughout rural Perth and Kinross and that has been very important at breaking down perceived and real barriers and really helping local businesses and communities work together during the pandemic. A really good example is a community of interest smart village, Perthshire Artisans, and that's a group of 19 individual businesses that have come together. We've built a peer support network and they have a marketing and e-commerce platform and they're just a brilliant example of the diverse and sustainable rural economy in Perth and Kinross. The venue at Cardney Steading is an exclusive 2,000 acres of estate that holds events and special occasions. The build involved all local tradespeople supporting a joint working initiative providing working opportunities for local businesses. So throughout the build we used local trades and professionals um, and it's been a brilliant result and it's exceeded our expectations. So we have 30 plus WENS concerts booked each year over the next three years. This has been a great boost to the local area and local economy. Unfortunately this year we weren't able to go ahead with our open days and other promotional events so we developed a digital strategy to work on different projects um, and an online fashion show to connect the community suppliers that we had and to ensure that they were engaging with potential customers for the future. We are passionate about working with many local businesses including the leader funded project Scruffy Dog Cider by the Strafford Cider Company and Birchwater by Birkin Tree. The aim of the Creef Food Company was to become a place where locals can meet and shop, providing a locally sourced and where possible locally made produce to the benefit of the local community and businesses. Um, well, when we first set up the Creef Food Company with leader funding in July 2017, one of our main aims was to support local suppliers and local supply chain. That's something that I think we've improved on and increased. Now we have over 85 suppliers from within a 35 mile radius, including multitude from here, within here in Creef. We wanted to create a hub where locals could meet, gather, and foodies could meet and gather, and local suppliers could sell off their foods. I think over the last three years, we've created a destination here in Creef where there's a multitude of reasons why people would come to Creef on a Saturday afternoon but we've become one of those reasons and we are now drawing people from far and wide to come to grief. McToot Dumplings, 60% of their employees are young rural people with additional support needs who would have a number of barriers to accessing employment in the city. They feel this gives their business an advantage. Here at Clutie McToot Dumplings we like to give everyone the opportunity to learn new skills as well as traditional old Scottish cooking skills. So there are lots of different opportunities in-house training and external training that we do offer to the young people. To be honest it's not just about the skills that the people are learning here is about the skills that we are learning from the people that come into this workforce. So I find that depending on the different nature of people that are coming in, they can bring in fantastic skills, things that we've not even seen before. They see things from a different perspective than we do. Oh, great when you come in in the morning everyone's smiling, which is this unusual first job I've ever had where people come in and they're smiling. <laughs> Thank you. 
providing a unique bespoke service to autistic children, young people and their families throughout Perth and Kinross. Rural Perthshire Autism Outreach Services are championing the skills development of the whole community, with a focus of young people at the heart of all their service delivery. Every uh, activity that we deliver in, in rural areas is based around a skill. What we do is provide activities that are really structured to provide a sense of routine to our young people and then base them on targets that we want our young people to gain based on input from families as well and other services. So we identify what we need to work on and then um, we work on that through our activities. We want our young people to become independent and um, to feel really included in, in their communities through skills development. We have worked in partnership with local employers, um, local community groups and local schools have seeked our support as well. We are helping local communities set and reach goals of inclusion. The overarching objective of the workshop Aberfeldy is around skills development, providing a locally grown solution to the challenge of rural unemployment, particularly focused on young people. Some of the people that we deal with here are not finding it easy uh, to fit into existing work, workplace situations and we've, we find a sort of a, a means of making a bridge between where they've been and where we want them to go. The experience of working within a, a team helps to develop that and they become more confident. Well the work we do here is really varied. Uh, we do some hand work on the bench um, with hand tools. We have a, a range of woodworking machinery but we do have two uh, flatbed lasers uh, and a, a CNC router. Everybody that's worked here, uh, or spent any time here really, has gone on to a positive destination. What I enjoy here has to be the whole atmosphere and like sort of feeling of belonging here and um, just kind of learning new things mostly every single day. Residents of Lochernhead, St Fillins and Comrie identified the need to improve off-road links between their villages, resulting in the Lochern Railway Path, community-led, multi-stakeholder project. The Leader Fund was absolutely crucial in being part of um, our opening up the path um, and the installation works for the path. We met with Leader quite a few times um, and they were incredibly helpful. Well, it's opened up a path really from Comrie to here for school children, walkers, cyclists, well used. And then now the park was uh, opened up a year later and uh, that has brought even more in and it's a safe path for them to come. They don't have to be on the A84 at all. The path has contributed massively to the community as a whole and it offers accessibility to everybody in the community. It's encouraged people to get out into the country, get a little bit fitter, walk, cycle, away from the road so it keeps it safe. Remix Community Reuse and Repair Project is supporting a local solution to the global environmental and waste problem, supporting over 50 businesses to divert over 4,500 kilos of surplus commercial stock away from landfill. So Remake is a community reuse charity and we're aiming to introduce a circular economy into the community. Leader has helped us to increase more donations and also distribute more of the stock that would have gone to landfill. So we've been able to open the reuse container at the recycling centre and partner with our local authority, Perth and Carnoss Council. It means that the circular economy becomes much more a normal process and the second hand becomes first choice. So it's great that there's so many local businesses who really want to help us and they really want to reduce their waste and help local people as well. So like Creef Co-op, they help give us crates, they give us a community room, when we during the Covid crisis, the hydro donate furniture to us. So, so many people locally really want to donate their business surplus and we are happy to work with them and try and make that better for everyone. In 
Entirely driven by volunteers, some working around the clock in the 18 months prior to the hub opening, a 12-strong development group guided the Madich Centre project. I think the current situation, while it's been very different and we haven't had the, the one and a half thousand people through the doors or the, the 450 people a week at activities and classes, it has still illustrated the impact that we have across the CARS and that has happened through leader funding getting us established in the first place and then working through our projects over the last three years. And hopefully, as we start to, to rebuild and look at recovery after Corona-19, that all of that that has been established will build and will stand us in good stead. And I have to say it's also about having a fantastic community around here too. So while we try and serve our community in different ways in providing volunteering opportunities and keeping people active and bringing people together, they also support us 100% of the way. Centre conference facilities has made an impact not only in the centre but on Pitlochery and the surrounding rural areas. We got leader funding um, to build a downstairs conference room so that we could have um, more groups from the community and also for co coming to the centre for conferences. Up until um, Covid our um, main thing on a Friday was um, soup lunch for older people and we had the children's autism group in the conference room adult literacy um, and various other community groups but that all just stopped in an instant when um, the pandemic started. So what we're doing now is um, running the Pitlochery Food Bank. We were running in a very very small way up until then but expanded greatly um, through that and during the summer holidays the local school, some of the teachers including the head teacher actually came and took the food banks to families and that meant they're able to check up on the kids, see how they're getting on with their education, mental health, and also well fed. The Catarans Commonwealth used one of Scotland's great trails, the Cataran Trail, as a stage for three heritage based events that aim to inspire people to think about and celebrate our common wealth, the things that belong to all of us. One project, A Story of the Cataran Trail and 100 Objects, ran a public campaign to identify people, places and landscapes around the Cataran Trail that have value to local people and visitors, culminating in an exhibition in Ayleth Museum and a set of new written and photographic resources published both on and offline. The Story Box created a new community oral history archive housed in an old red telephone box in Ayleth Town Square. And the third project, Common Ground, involved an artist residency with local schools and community groups which used a new archive of aerial photographs of the archaeology of the Cataran Trail and new place name research to create new textiles for an exhibition. Qualitative data collected evidenced the creation of trust, agency and belonging that we set out to kindle. 100% of respondents found the experience valuable, an average of 80% felt more connected to their community, 60% strengthened relationships with those that they already knew, 50% got to know new people, and 70% said their involvement inspired them to get more involved in their community. Elder Voice is a voluntary-led organisation connecting older people in the community through a variety of services addressing loneliness, isolation and malnutrition. 
Um, it has huge benefits because the, um, there's a large aged population in Blairgowrie, Rattray and the surrounding areas and there was no real voluntary service that provided transport, shopping, befriending and telephone befriending. So it has a huge impact and it's really appreciated by the elderly. Well, they're so pleasant and the time to talk to you and things like that when we haven't had folk coming over the crisis. It provides volunteering opportunities for people who want to put something back into the community and they get every bit as much of a pleasure out of doing something for the elderly and volunteering with us. I just volunteer because I think a lot of elder people are on their own and I might need the service in the future and just try and give them a bit of help in these times. Leader Grant helped make the Highland Swing project a reality and in turn bring in an average of a thousand more customers a year to this area of Perthshire, thus allowing them to support skills development in young people. So the Leader Grants basically helped um, provide additional funding, um, which was already an expensive project, um, to add and complement the bungee jumping, which is already at the site at the moment. Um, so it brings in a, an additional clientele as well, with the age group dropping down to 10 years old. So the additional numbers that come into the area also help the accommodation sector and also the restaurant food sector as well. So the project, um, we work closely with um, Bredalbin School as well. So over the last, since the swing started actually 2017, um, each year we've had um, some of the youth from Bredalbin basically come down and take them on work, work experience for a couple of months. Um, so for LEADER we've promoted through our website. Um, we've also got signage up in the office and down at the bridge and on the platform itself. The Rural Youth Project uses creative digital, face-to-face -face engagement and marketing and media engagement to develop the leadership, enterprise and activism skills of young people aged 18 to 28. Working with LEADER has been a nice synergy as we both believe in supporting community through the sustainment of economic and social enterprises and we believe in the development of future progression. And it's for that reason that we have been extremely proud and at every opportunity wanted to include the leader logos and the Chin leader in our branding. We have used a multitude of marketing and media opportunities to promote the work that we are doing at the project, from press releases and features, to case studies, to videos, to just basic social media, to ensure that both leader and the Royal Youth Project gain the recognition that they deserve. It's been an absolute joy working with young people and just seeing their resilience and their amazing ideas um, and it's a huge huge thank you for, to LEADER. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for your support and your vision. From the outset the Strathairn Cider Company have woven recognition of the role of leader funding into all of their communications, PR and marketing behind their business and the Scruffy Dog Cider brand, attending leader events as ambassadors and consistently including leader in their social media posts. The idea behind the brand is we spotted a gap in the market for quality Scottish cider and we approached a local company to go creative to bring our ideas into our uh, brand image and our label design. And we wanted our pet Aussie in, somehow involved in the brand. And they created uh, our label and our website using the image of Aussie um, to create Scruffy Dog Cider. One of the joys of um, having a local brand based in Perthshire, um, we've met some other local companies and we have worked in collaboration with, for example, Strathern Cheese and with Clutie McToot Dumplings from Abernethy to create Scruffy Dog Cider based recipes. 
So I've been really proud to tell our brand story from its concept through to where we are just now, um, attending some big events throughout the country, which we've managed to do through support from Perth and Knoss Council, especially LEADER.